nigga, I turn nothing into something. My head was in that pot, I was tryna make something. Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him. I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake. Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy, it's coming at you guys with another video. And, um, yeah, y'all know how we coming this year, bro. Like I said, if not upload, we doing uploads every day, but I ain't gonna lie. The editor been, like I said, the editor been kind of holding me back. It kind of been holding me back, but it's perfectly fine. Now, in the beginning part of this video, I'm just showing you guys, like, my VC, how much VC I sit. <laughs> oh, damn. But yeah, I was just showing you guys right there how much VC I got saved up. 361,000, all saved up. I know that I'm gonna have people that say, yeah, bro, you brought VC, you, you brought VC, yeah, because I'm just gonna randomly buy VC when I don't have another player I need to buy or another player I'm trying to upgrade, whatever. That's my park record, that's my pro -am record. All that will get a lot better, trust and believe that. I wanna get to 1,000 wins before I get to 200 losses which is very possible i just got to be uh, like very smart about who i play with and um the lineups that i run and i've been really smart about it been winning a lot of games ever since i got my badges on my jump shot i'm very close to all-star three i should get that because beats is coming on at nine o'clock eastern time if i release this video on today which is saturday the 21st of september i don't know if it's going to release it might be the 22nd whenever it does release just know your boy's going to play beats so I should be an all-star three in no time. Um, this is just a little update on my badges. Y'all see right here, I got contact finisher. Um, contact finisher always stays on gold no matter what. And I always switch between fancy footworks, giant slayer, and relentless finisher for the second badge on gold. So yeah, it depends on what I'm playing, who I'm going against, I'll adjust it. Um, for the shooting, this is the best combination I found for shooting, so I suggest you guys use that. Now for playmaking, I always do switch up depending on who I'm playing with. Like if I just need to make, if I'm on twos, I might just put on a pluckable. But if I'm playing threes and I'm playing with people that can shoot, I want to have on gold dimer to give them the best chance to make the shot. Now um, for an interceptor on gold is definitely good enough. You could use tireless defender, but um, it definitely does work. But at times I really don't need it. It's not like every single game I need all the energy in the world. I'd rather have interceptor on gold because it works really well in the lane. So that's exactly why I have it on. I'm like, yo, honestly, having Interceptor is so much better because when you don't have it, 2K won't let you get those steals in the passing lane. Interceptor is one of those badges that you actually need to have that um, thing work. You got other badges like Pickpocket. People without it, they still get steals. I don't know what 2K is doing. They need to fix it. But this is my jump shot. I got it from Duke Dennis. That's why it's called Durag JR because it was a Durag um, Dennis. Duke Dennis, you know how Duke Dennis always says um, Durag Dennis or whatever. But yeah, that's why I called it that. But that that's literally the best jump shot that I've used this year so far. <clears throat> well, I've been using this jump shot with the shot meter off, which I'm going to show you guys how to turn your shot meter off. Now the dribble pull up, number four, number two. Um, well, num normal four, athletic two, and Steph Curry, those all work really well. I suggest you try out those. Those are like the top three most used dribble pull ups. And um, for the dunking and layups, I suggest you guys use these because I never get blocked on dunks. Unless I just take a really stupid dunk. So I said I highly suggest you guys use those dunks. But yeah, really quickly, I'm just going to show you guys how to turn off your shot meter. It's pretty simple. You just simply go to options. Then you go to your controller settings and turn your shot meter off. It's that simple. So yeah, that's the update for my my player, my player, whatever, two-way, three-level facilitator. Everything maxed out. I'm one off from being a 99. I should have showed you guys my stats. That's my bad. But I didn't get that in this clip, so it's perfectly fine. On to the next clip. So, your boy, as you guys can see, there was only there was an hour and 43 minutes left when I played this game right here. And then I went to go play threes, and then uh, we came back with 44 minutes left. So I didn't get to finish playing Court Conquer, but you know, this year, every single event, your boy's gonna have gameplay on it. I can no longer slack. I gotta get the gameplay on every single event. It's content, and I'm pretty sure you guys wanna see me play this and do it. So yeah, obviously, if you guys don't know, on Court Conquer, um, they do tend to switch up the teams. So the next time they come, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same teams or if they're going to add uh, different duos. But you want to go for the easiest team right off the bat. This is a little, this is a little method for y'all because I know a lot of people didn't get to play it, or they just maybe you just didn't beat it. I don't know. It's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, you want to go to the easiest game. As you guys see right here, we got Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum. 
no defense whatsoever so you definitely want to go here now if you have a big man this should be a 21-0 i mean they they might give kemba walker a dumb bucket um or whatever but in terms of this right here you, if you have a big man you have jason tatum guarding you you put jason tatum in the put well it's not going to be a 21-0 actually because it's loser's ball but yeah my shot meter is on in this game notice my shot meter is on in this game. If I was wide open, that would have been a green. That's the thing about 2K. When you get full bars on this, when your meter on, they're not gonna let you make the shot, but that's one thing you got, I want you guys to be aware of. Even if you turn your shot meter off, sometimes at random, 2K will turn it back on. That's that's just NBA 2K, guys, dude. Like, there's no explanation for it. That's just how 2K is. I've seen it all on this game now. It just, everything is just so backward. I, I'm not gonna make this a rant video, but yeah, basically all we were doing in this gameplay right here, we're just playing the pick and roll. And it was pretty easy for me to get to the basket. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty easy for me to get to the basket. One thing I did notice is that when they drive to the paint on you, if you don't have like a really, really good contest, it's probably gonna go in. As you can see, what you're gonna see in a minute right here, Kemba Walker just easily makes that layup. And I have Hall of Fame Intimidator. You would think it would help. But I guess I gotta put on Hall of Fame Rim Protector or something, cause I could I could switch my badges up as I please now. So I might just throw on Hall of Fame Rim Protector, cause I'm tired of people doing that. But you see me doing a hop step. That is what Fancy Footworks is for. It makes you do hop steps, dunks a lot easier, and hop step layups. Um, yeah, literally that's what Fancy Footworks is for, and it works really well. You see Jason Tatum driving right there for a stupid drive. Me getting another open three, full bar. They're gonna count that as a slightly early, a slightly. A slightly early I don't know why I said early your boy is tripping right now but yeah they counted that as a slightly early which is super annoying because if my shot meter was off it'd be a green if you guys haven't seen my uh, video on the secret jump shot method to green every jump shot simply go watch that that's why I took that shot right there you guys these are shots I usually make with my shot meter off because I have Hall of Fame range extender at 86 three-point shot so I'm definitely gonna take those shots I don't know why 2k thinks it's necessary to make us miss when we have a full bar but it just doesn't make sense at all but i'm glad they came out with the little shot meter off thing literally everybody should be using it if you know your jump shot you need to use it but yeah we're up eight to six now each and every court i can talk about on the left court you got joel Embiid and ben simmons middle court in front of us you got steph curry and clay thompson the court to the right you got LeBron James and Anthony Davis, which is the hardest one. Court right next to my right-hand side, um, directly to the right-hand side. You got Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis, which could be a little bit difficult, but not too much. And then last, you got Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell on the um, bottom left. So it's not that bad as you think it would be. Um, it's pretty easy. The only game that we did lose, because we didn't get to play all of them. We, like, we didn't get to play the... Um, Oh, we only didn't get to play two because we came back with 44 minutes left um, after this Celtics game right here. But we didn't get to play Anthony Davis. Or we didn't get to play the Lakers and we didn't get to play the Jazz. It's that simple. We didn't get to play those two. Um, and we only lost to the 76ers because I took four bad deep range threes just to test out the range on it. I didn't I didn't really think nothing of it. But you know how 2K is. They made Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid do their thing. So I ended up making a mistake right there. So yeah, whenever Court Conquer comes back, if you guys want to win it just to win it, it's pretty easy to win. Um, I think this is just like a confidence builder. That's why 2K wants to start it off really easy with the Court Conquer because you don't get anything for it. All you get is 5,000 VC and it's twos this year. Last year it was three v threes. This year it's two v two. You have to wait a lot longer for the games. The games are a lot longer. I'm, I'm actually glad they made it um, loser's ball because if it was winner's ball, I think, I don't know, I f maybe, I don't know, maybe if it was winner's ball, it'd be quicker. I don't know. You guys let me know that in the comment section down below what you guys think. But yeah, this is definitely a confidence builder for people to um, have the confidence that they can win an event and have them coming back to win. But for the court conquer, when you win, all you get is 5,000 VC and a damn jersey of your choice from one of these six teams right here, either the Sixers, the Warriors, Lakers, Mavericks, Celtics, or the Jazz nothing too surprising nothing really good at all last year you won like 25,000 vc which was more worth it um in my opinion that's what that's what if anything that's what really made me not play this as you see me getting another full bar right there it doesn't matter guys you see me get slightly early slightly late full bars does not matter it's not like i'm getting bounced back or anything like that it's full bars and it's not going in 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. This video is coming to an end. Your boy is going to be playing in the beats. Um, I'm going to grab a gameplay on that, and then I'm going to turn my stream right on because I just want to stream it. Uh, beats is double rep, so I'm going to be playing on that from start to finish. The grind don't stop, y'all. Like I said, we coming all year long with the grind every single day streams uploads the only thing that's going to slow me down is my uploader but i don't know why it's, i don't know why it's doing that we have optimum i have a um land cable plugged in so i don't know why guys i wish i knew if i knew i'd tell y'all but if you're new to the channel be sure to leave a like on this video also hit that like button it definitely helps my channel grow and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Most importantly, guys, subscribe. If you made it th to this point in the uh, video, just type in the comment section down below, I subscribe and hit notice. But that's pretty much it. Your boy will have a lot more gameplay coming for the next couple of weeks and months and years. So if you want to be a part of that, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Jaren Ranks, and I'm out. I'm not trying to kick it, niggas be fake, so I'm keeping my distance That shit turned to a habit, you don't really know the feeling, no you don't You don't really know the feeling, no you don't You don't really know the feeling, no you don't And that's a habit